Test 2. Hello, this is the Cambridge Assessment English Movers Listening Test. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a photo of my class, Grandma. We're making a story about a pirate ship. Where are you, Paul? There, look. I'm pointing to a whale in the sea. A whale? It's only a paper one, Grandma. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. My classmates loved being pirates. Is your friend Jim in the photo? Yes, he's cleaning the floor. Has he got a mustache? That's right. Two. Was it difficult to carry that big square box? Yes, Daisy did that and she's not very strong. I like her black boots. Yes, they're great. Three. Why have those children got a map? In our story, the pirates are looking for an island and they can't find it. That's exciting. Who's the boy in the hat? That's Fred. He loved being a pirate. Four. Is that girl looking for the island too? The one who's climbing the net? Yes. That's Sally. She's good at climbing and she was very careful. That's good. Five. What's that girl doing? The one with the parrot on her shoulder? Yes. That's Vicky. She's putting a message in a bottle. She wants someone to come and help us. Did anyone come? Yes, our teacher, but we had to stop for lunch. <laughs> now listen to part one again. One. My classmates loved being pirates. Is your friend Jim in the photo? Yes, he's cleaning the floor. Has he got a mustache? That's right. Two. Was it difficult to carry that big square box? Yes, Daisy did that and she's not very strong. I like her black boots. Yes, they're great. Three. Why have those children got a map? In our story, the pirates are looking for an island and they can't find it. That's exciting. Who's the boy in the hat? That's Fred. He loved being a pirate. Four. Is that girl looking for the island too? The one who's climbing the net? Yes. That's Sally. She's good at climbing and she was very careful. That's good. Five. What's that girl doing? The one with the parrot on her shoulder? Yes. That's Vicky. She's putting a message in a bottle. She wants someone to come and help us.
Did anyone come? Yes, our teacher. But we had to stop for lunch. <laughs> That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. What's the name of your new school, Bill? It's Rainbow School, Uncle Jack. Rainbow School. And do you like it? Yes, it's cool. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. What's the name of your teacher? It's Miss Glass. Miss Glass. Is she good? She's great. Two. Look, this is my homework. I have to write about an animal. Can you choose the animal? Yes, the teacher gave us twenty-seven animals, and we had to choose our favourites. Twenty-seven? That's a lot. I know. Three. What animal did you choose? Well, I wanted to write about a sea animal. What? A shark? No, my favourite animal is a dolphin. I chose that. Yes, dolphins are very clever. Four. Have you got to read about your animal first? Yes. Look, I found this book in the library. What's it called? Ocean Home. Ocean. How do you spell that? O, C, E, A, N. Good. Five. Have you got to do this homework tonight? No. We have to give it to the teacher on Friday. No, sorry, I meant Monday. Monday. So, are you busy tonight? No. Why? Shall we go out for a pizza? Yes, please, Uncle Jack. Now listen to part two again. One. What's the name of your teacher? It's Miss Glass. Miss Glass. Is she good? She's great. Two. Look, this is my homework. I have to write about an animal. Can you choose the animal? Yes. The teacher gave us twenty-seven animals, and we had to choose our favourites. Twenty-seven? That's a lot. I know. Three. What animal did you choose? Well, I wanted to write about a sea animal. What? A shark? No. My favourite animal is a dolphin. I chose that. Yes, dolphins are very clever. Four. Have you got to read about your animal first? Yes. Look, I found this book in the library. What's it called? Ocean Home. Ocean. How do you spell that? O, C, E, A, N. Good. Five.
five. Have you got to do this homework tonight? No, we have to give it to the teacher on Friday. No, sorry, I meant Monday. Monday. So are you busy tonight? No. Why? Shall we go out for a pizza? Yes, please, Uncle Jack. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Mary played a game at her friend's party yesterday. She had to find pictures of food in different places. Where did she find each of the pictures? Did you enjoy the birthday party yesterday, Mary? Yes, thanks. We played a great game. Did you? Yes. My friend's mom and dad hid pictures of food in different places around their apartment, and we had to find them. What did you find first? A picture of a cup of coffee. It was on the door of the elevator. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Were the pictures of food easy to find? Sometimes. I found the picture of a pancake quickly. Where was that? Over a mirror in my friend's bedroom. I walked in and it was there in front of me. What did you do when you found something? We had to write the name of the place on some paper. The next thing that I found was outside. Was it near the door of the building? No, it was on the balcony. Really? And what was it? A picture of a plate of noodles. It was behind the plant. Well done! There was a picture of a milkshake. I love those. Me too. But do you know where I found it? Where? Next to a dirty old machine in the basement. Ugh! That wasn't a nice place then. No. And the picture of cheese was in a funny place too. Where was that? In the shower? No. It was in a pair of old ice skates in the hall cupboard. Really? Yes. There was one more picture outside. Where? On a seat? Well, it was in the garden, but it was in the flowers. What was the picture? It was of different kinds of vegetables. Well, that was a good place for that picture then. Yes, it was. Now listen to part three again. Were the pictures of food easy to find? Sometimes. I found the picture of a pancake quickly. Where was that? Over a mirror in my friend's bedroom. I walked in and it was there in front of me. What did you do when you found something? We had to write the name of the place on some paper. The next thing that I found was outside. Was it near the door of the building? No, it was on the balcony. Really? And what was it? A picture of a plate of noodles. It was behind the plant. Well done! There was a picture of a milkshake. I love those. Me too. But do you know where I found it? Where? Next to a dirty old machine in the basement. Ugh! That wasn't a nice place then. No. And the picture of cheese was in a funny place too. Where was that? In the shower? No. 
It was in a pair of old ice skates in the hall cupboard. Really? Yes. There was one more picture outside. Where? On a seat? Well, it was in the garden, but it was in the flowers. What was the picture? It was of different kinds of vegetables. Well, that was a good place for that picture then. Yes, it was. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What was the matter with Tom yesterday? Why weren't you at school yesterday, Tom? I had earache, Mrs. White. Did you have a temperature too? No. Are you better today? Not really. I had a lot of chocolate for lunch, and now I've got a stomach ache. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which man is Lily's dad? My dad's got a beard. Yes, I can see him, Lily, and he's got really curly hair. No, that man's not my dad. My dad's hair is straight. Oh. Two. What did Peter see first at the zoo? Did you have a good day at the zoo, Peter? Yes, thanks. My favourite animals were the pandas. Great. But my sister couldn't wait to see the penguins. We went to see them first. And what were the funniest animals? The kangaroos. Three. Where is Lucy's comic? Dad, where is my comic? I don't know, Lucy. Did you have it in the school playground? Yes, but I brought it home again. I read it on the bus. Uh, is that it? Where? On the dog's blanket in the garden. Oh, Lucy. Four. What is in the picnic box? What's in that box, Mum? It's our picnic. I love picnics, Mum. Can I have a sandwich, please? Yes. Do you want some of this salad too? Yes, please. And can I have some chicken? Sorry, I didn't bring any today. Five. Why are the girls laughing? What are the girls doing in the living room? Why? They're laughing. Are they watching a DVD? No, and they're not playing that new board game. Let's go and look. <laughs> they're dressing up. Yes, <gasps> in my old things. Now listen to part four again. One. Which man is Lily's dad? My dad's got a beard. Yes, I can see him, Lily, and he's got really curly hair. No, that man's not my dad. My dad's hair is straight. Oh. Two. What did Peter see first at the zoo? Did you have a good day at the zoo, Peter? Yes, thanks. My favourite animals were the pandas. Great. But my sister couldn't wait to see the penguins. 
We went to see them first. And what were the funniest animals? The kangaroos. Three. Where is Lucy's comic? Dad, where is my comic? I don't know, Lucy. Did you have it in the school playground? Yes, but I brought it home again. I read it on the bus. Uh, is that it? Where? On the dog's blanket in the garden. Oh, Lucy. Four. What is in the picnic box? What's in that box, Mum? It's our picnic. I love picnics, Mum. Can I have a sandwich, please? Yes. Do you want some of this salad too? Yes, please. And can I have some chicken? Sorry, I didn't bring any today. Five. Why are the girls laughing? What are the girls doing in the living room? Why? They're laughing. Are they watching a DVD? No, and they're not playing that new board game. Let's go and look. <laughs> they're dressing up. Yes, <gasps> in my old things. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can I colour this picture? It's a windy day on a farm. Yes, trees sometimes fall down in the wind. Look, there's one in the road. Oh yes. Look at the truck driver. Can I colour his coat? Good idea. Do it green. Okay, I'm doing it that colour now. Can you see the green coat? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. The animals don't like the wind. Look at that horse, the one in the field. Yes, I think it's afraid. Why don't you colour it? Right, I'm doing it blue. Okay. Two. And look at the clouds. Wow! Yes. I'd like to colour one of them. Which one? The biggest, I think. What colour do you want to do it? Grey. No, pink. Right. Three. The people on the farm washed their clothes this morning. That's right. But look at that sweater. The one on the ground. No, the one on the roof. What colour can I do that? How about red? That's a good colour. Four. What's the name of this farm? It's Sunny Farm. It isn't sunny on the farm today. I know, but why don't you write the name on that board? Okay, I can write that now. Five. 
Let's colour one more thing. What about the tractor? All right. I think it's yellow. OK. Do it that colour. This is a good picture now. Yes, it's great. Now listen to part five again. One. The animals don't like the wind. Look at that horse. The one in the field. Yes, I think it's afraid. Why don't you colour it? Right. I'm doing it blue. OK. Two. And look at the clouds. Wow, yes. I'd like to colour one of them. Which one? The biggest, I think. What colour do you want to do it? Grey? No, pink. Right. Three. The people on the farm washed their clothes this morning. That's right. But look at that sweater. The one on the ground? No, the one on the roof. What colour can I do that? How about red? That's a good colour. Four. What's the name of this farm? It's Sunny Farm. It isn't sunny on the farm today. I know. But why don't you write the name on that board? OK. I can write that now. Five. Let's colour one more thing. What about the tractor? All right. I think that's yellow. OK. Do it that colour. This is a good picture now. Yes, it's great. That is the end of the Movers Listening Test.